Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, viewers, and the world out there. Today we'll be doing a broken heart reading for the sign of Taurus. In this message, we're going to look into how to resolve a conflict between you and another person. We're going to tap right into the energies with the traditional deck here, Taurus. And in this message, we're going to look into your part of the challenge, your person's part of the challenge, what each of you can do to resolve the challenge. We'll look into other influences. Can it be saved? And is it worth it? I will clarify throughout the message as well as pull a few cards at the end for advice guidance moving forward. If it's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So Taurus, let's see what we can see for you guys for this upcoming month, please. And thank you. Most important message here for Taurus spirit. What does Taurus need to see? Taurus, there's a decision that needs to be made here on your part. I feel like it's there's a need to be very practical about the decision that you are needing to make here. Okay, one of the decisions, one of the paths that you have an option of choosing is walking away. Person has their wall up. Okay, this person is guarded. I feel like this person keeps things very light it's something that they're not revealing here Taurus and I feel like it has to do with their financial situation we're going to clarify all of this here in a moment please keep in mind guys that the messages on YouTube are general they're not going to resonate every time with every person take what resonates leave the rest please and thank you for information on energy cleanse kits extended versions how to get entered into the drawing we do here every month for free personal readings. It's all linked below in the description box. And Taurus, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here and it does help to set intentions for future messages. Taurus, I feel like there's blocked communication. Either that or there's very minimal communication between you and this person. But I will, I do want to hit on the fact that there's three twos coming up, okay? This energy is associated with forgiveness and acceptance. I feel here, Taurus, on one path, you can choose to walk away from this person and not look back, okay? Not have any remorse. The other option you have is to endure. But I feel here this person is going to go through some sort of disruption, some sort of significant ending. I feel here it's going to be very unexpected. I feel here that it's definitely revolving their financial situation. So let's clarify this nine of wands with the ten of pentacles in the reverse. Mm -hmm. they may be overindulging spending partying um spending their money on things that are unnecessary and that could be why things are going to be things are heading down the path that they're heading for them i do feel however that there is going they are going to be freed from a lot of burden through this transformation Taurus um, but that's going to come with time it's not going to be seen right away there's this shock wave is definitely going to be felt as soon as it happens okay king of pentacles justice energy this person could be going through legal matters for some of you I feel here there is a need to kind of find the balance okay you may have to 
do some research on your own Taurus. Okay. So you may have to look into this person's social media accounts. You may have to do some stalking. You may have to check up on them or, you know, I know it sounds different, but you're going to have to look into the situation a little bit. Okay. So read between the lines, ask questions about their bills or what have you. I feel like this is something that this person isn't going to easily reveal. It's almost as if they're ashamed that they're going through this. Okay. I do feel Taurus that this person is dealing with some financial constraints at this time. This is weighing heavy on their heart, weighing heavy on their mind. We're going to look into this person's true intentions here right now. If you're finding this message is helpful or resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth of the channel, getting the message out there. So thank you guys so much for that. I feel here that there is a need to just let the tower fall for them, Taurus. I do feel like this is more of a friendly, this is more of like a friend or maybe friends with benefits. I feel like this person is a person that may always reach out for help, need, need assistance with something. And it may be in your best interest to put distance between you and this person um, because of what they're about to experience, what they're about to go through. Okay, so Taurus's person's true intentions here. Are there other influences? I just feel like the other influences here is the money thing. The money issue is definitely a problem. Okay. Can this be saved? I feel like this is a friendship. Okay, so it's up to you, Taurus. You have the you have the free will to decide. But I do feel here that there is a need to kind of evaluate this person's position. I feel here this person's intentions is to kind of swindle any money that they can. I feel here they're looking out for their best interest because of what they're going through. Okay, this is almost as if maybe they're, I don't know, lo losing a business or um, they may even lose a job, lose their job, something along those lines. I do feel like this person will be reaching out for more help if you stay in their presence, especially if they're always reaching out for help already. There is a need to make a decision here, Taurus. Okay. So I feel here there is a need to kind of decide, you know, what your next move is going to be. And the reason I say that, Taurus, is because right now with the two of swords coming out in your energy with the eight of wands, I feel like you're guarded, um, guarded to seeing the truth of the matter. And maybe for some of you, this is just a friend or a friend with benefits. So it's not something that you're too worried about. But I feel here at least keeping a distance is going to be important for this next upcoming month or so. Okay. What's holding this back, Taurus, what's holding this connection back or this conflict back from being resolved is not having a plan, not seeing this clearly. I do feel like things are going to be revealed, okay? You're going to start noticing this person withholding, okay, holding back. You're going to start noticing that they're not having as much money or they're not able to go out as much. Okay. I do feel like this energy will be revealed in time, Taurus. There's a need here to kind of just sit and wait. Try to see this from all angles, all perspectives, but really protecting yourself at this time is going to be important. Okay. So where is this all headed? Where is this headed for Taurus in this energy? Please and thank you, spirit. Where is this connection headed in this energy? Okay. 
so Taurus I feel here if you try to come forward and confront this person straight on head on straight forward this person is going to resist that because I feel an energy of them being embarrassed not wanting to reveal this information they very well could push you away I feel here, Taurus, there's just a need to kind of do what's best for you and then allow this person to come to you, okay? Allow this person to reach out to you, to try to talk to you. Um, don't try to get involved too heavily because, again, if this person always asks you for help, Taurus, they're definitely going to be asking for more help in their time of need. So, Taurus... Your advice, guidance moving forward for this energy. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. I am going to do an extended version to the reading. In the extended, we'll take a little bit deeper look into the hidden energies. We'll see what's coming next, where this is all headed, the outcome if the advice is followed. It's all going down in the extended. We'll clarify over there. We'll pull a few different Oracle card decks out. If it's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Advice, guidance, moving forward. Taurus, for your reading. The world, the queen of swords with the two of staffs. Okay. We have a lot of twos coming out in that the reading. Twos is a symbol of forgiveness, acceptance. Okay, it's also a symbol of a decision that needs to be made here, Taurus, a practical decision. I feel like there's a need to be very honest with yourself at this time, very straightforward about the situation, about this person, the energy that they keep. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to cut this person off or block them out. I just feel like there is a need with the energy that's coming out in your field to be very practical about this connection. Is this something you want to endure if this person goes through turmoil? Are you going to want to be their saving grace? They're always reaching out for help. Um, what I feel here, Taurus, the conflict that's arising is simply that. Your person is going through difficult times and whenever they're going through difficult times, they may reach out for help because you're always there. However, Taurus, there's a need to kind of be practical about your own energy. Maybe there's some things that you're having to delegate in your own life and you're not really as available to help as you usually are and that's okay. But just distancing yourself from this person for the time being that's being channeled here. Again, this is a person who is always reaching out for help. They're probably over the top with the things that they love to do in their life. And right now they're experiencing some financial difficulties. So they're having some conflicted energy within. Okay. You have to make a decision here, Taurus to do what's best for you. Making sure that you're feeling secure, that you're feeling stable, that you, your cup is filled enough to help other people's, okay? Otherwise, you're doing a disservice to yourself. This person isn't going to come forward with this information here, Taurus. That's why you're needing to find this information out other ways or just trust your intuition. Here is your soul journey message, Taurus. We have loneliness. I know that I am never alone. This card has come to you because you must be reminded that there's a difference between being lonely and being alone. Feelings of loneliness originate from a sense of not appreciating the most important person in your life you. If solitude seems like an affliction, you need to work on creating a healthy relationship with yourself. Only then will you attract others who will nurture your soul. 
If you don't develop a healthy relationship with yourself first, you will only draw unhealthy relationships to you. To create a healthy, positive relationship with yourself, you must begin to feel worthy of love. The pessimism of this physical dimension can affect your self-esteem if you don't have a strong conviction that you are valuable and meaningful. Don't view solitude as a weakness. It is merely your soul telling you that it is time to do inner work and reevaluate your path before you start to shine. As you sit in silence, you'll realize that your spirit family, teachers and guides are always with you and you're never alone. Taurus, there is a need here for you to spend some time with yourself, to get back in alignment with your path, your journey, to get clear on where you see yourself headed. And I feel here, Taurus, that that is what you're doing at this time. This person is definitely more of a friendly vibe. The reason this reading is coming out, I feel, is to help you to understand there's still a need to kind of proceed with caution. Try to understand that you're still going through your own healing journey, okay? Again, guys, I'm, I will always and forever promote awareness is the key to becoming happy, to becoming whole and to healing. Just being aware, being very honest with yourself and being aware how you're feeling, what's going on. That's always going to be the key, okay? So, Taurus, your four truths message is always do your best. Practice makes the master. By doing your best over and over, you can master the art of transformation. By doing your best, the habits of misusing your word, taking things personally, and making assumptions will become weaker and less frequent with time. Practice makes the master beautiful, beautiful. So Taurus, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this energy. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, the links are all below. Otherwise, thank you guys again. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste. Hello, Taurus. Thank you guys so much for joining over here. Um, it's a little extended mes message at the end of the YouTube videos that I'm starting to do. So what we do over here in this little ending message, we look into the astrological signs plus extended little messages. So Taurus, the astrological signs that we see coming out here, we have Leo, we have Libra, we have Capricorn, mutable energy, earth there's definitely earth energy present but that's your energy taurus you could be dealing with any of those signs but it doesn't necessarily have to be taurus since this is your reading we're going to turn this inward for just a second what i feel here taurus is if this is resonating as a friends with benefits situation okay the reason why you're being called to kind of reevaluate, get clear on the path, make sure that this is a person who you envision in your future, is because you never know what could happen. You could get pregnant, you could, anything could happen, you know, through that time. What I feel here, Taurus, right now, getting clear on your path and your next move is going to help you to see how this person fits into that dynamic, okay? Maybe this is just a friend or a friends with benefits helping you pass the time and that's okay. Maybe this is a person who you envision further into your future and you want to help them a little bit further. But determining the position that this person is going to have in your life long term is going to help you determine the energy that you give out. Okay, so just be mindful, be aware. Awareness is going to be key. 
So Taurus, thank you guys again so much. Namaste.